everyone! Welcome to Sold Out Online. I have theme music today. Did you catch that? On my phone, we're doing sound effects, okay? So super glad that you're here today. Um, I decided that we would start with a joke. In my devotions in the morning, I've been reading about King Solomon's temple. He was King David's son, and he built the first, like, amazing temple for God. So the joke is this. Where was King Solomon's temple located? Okay, so you might have the right answer or you might have the wrong answer. Um, wrong answer. Okay, and you're going to find out at the end of our time where was King Solomon's temple located? All right, cool. So I hope that you watched last week's video because it was awesome. And um, it tells you how you can earn $50. Cha-ching. So if you go back and watch last week's video, it'll tell you how you can enter yourself in twice a week to win 50 bucks at the end of this quarantine time. So make sure you watch that. So we've been talking about Saul, Paul, or as Camden likes to say, Spall. And so, as we've been learning about Spall and um, being in the world but not of the world, I want to kind of continue that in a thought today and um, look at, at him. You know, he is an amazing guy. Not Camden. Although Camden's amazing too, but Spall is who I was talking about. And um, more, than any under, more than any other individual in history, Spall is responsible for spreading the word of God to the people who were not Jewish. Nobody else walked more than 10,000 miles. Did you hear that? Walked more than 10,000 miles. That deserves um, like an applause. 10,000 miles. He walked, they figure, throughout the Roman Empire so that he could share the good news of Jesus. And really, when push comes to shove, if Paul wouldn't have done that, there's a really good chance that we wouldn't have ever received the amazing news of Jesus. So we have a lot to um, learn from Paul from his own life and from what he was willing to do to share the good news of Jesus. So Bible, Galatians um, chapter, Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I want to read it to you. Oh, she don't lick my fingers. Don't lick your fingers. Um, 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. I'm going to read it one more time. Listen carefully. I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. So when you guys hear the word crucified, what generally do you think about? I tend to think, I think most people tend to think about Jesus dying on the cross, his personal crucifixion. So when it says that I have been crucified with Christ, well, obviously, I have never hung on a cross, um, thankfully, because it would be awful. But we do know that um, when it says I have been crucified with Christ, it means I've chosen to die to myself. I've chosen not to continue um, to, to live for Jennifer, which goes on to our next part. That says, Christ, um, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. So when I choose to say, you know what, I'm going to be sold out for Jesus. I'm going to choose to live for him. I'm going to say no to my sin, no to my own selfish desires, no to what I want. I'm being crucified with Christ. And I'm not living anymore as, woohoo, woo, me, Miss Jennifer, it's all about me. All of a sudden, it's now it's all about Christ in me. He's the one who's living. And so my words, my thoughts, my actions, my attitude, everything about me should be Christ-like because he's the one living through me because I was crucified with him. It's kind of an interesting concept. And um, it's tricky because it's easy to sit here and talk about. And if we were in our breakout groups, we'd have awesome discussion about this. But push comes to shove. I already said that earlier today. Let's think of another one. I can't think of one. But when, when, when times get tough, um, it's not really easy to do because I want what I want. I have my own way of thinking that things should be. And um, it's all about dying to me and living for Christ. And that's tough to do on a daily basis. So 
I have, uh, our keyword for today is going to be crucified, so you can text that to me for an enter, entry into a $50 cash prize. Oh, just a second, my phone went off. $50 cash prize! There we go. And, um, and uh, I have an assignment for you as well, a mission if you so choose to accept it. So I'm going to try to attach it at the end of my video. I tried it yesterday. It did not work so hot. So if it's not attached at the end of the video, it'll be down in the description box and a link that you can click on for a song by a guy named John Waller. And it is called um, Dead Man Walking. It's kind of an oxymoron. Um, click on the link uh, wherever it might be and listen to this song. It's like not the best song. I found it on YouTube. Somebody did a lyric video but it saves me a lot of time for making one. So I want you to read the lyrics as you listen to the song and then write down on a piece of paper two things. Um, first thing I want you to write down is how does this song specifically speak to you? What's it mean when you're listening to it? And then number two, how does Galatians 2.20, the scripture we just read, have to do with this song? So I love this song. I love what it says, it always challenges me, but I wanna know what you think. So write that on your piece of paper, stick it in the folder, save it till we get back together, and that will also enter you into another chance to win the 50 bucks. All right, so are you guys ready to hear the joke? Oh, you know the joke, to hear the punchline? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, where was Solomon's temple located? Ah, uh, it's coming, it's coming. It was located, um, on the side of his head. Ha 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 ha. Oh, no, I deserve applause. Woo! Get it? You were thinking like a temple, but it's his temple. Ha oh. All right, go tell somebody in your family that. That'll be a good quarantine joke. It'll make them laugh or roll their eyes, one or the other. Okay, well that is it. Just a reminder, tomorrow is our Dive Deep Bible Study with Pastor Paul. I'll send you a link so you can click in. And it was um, it was really interesting last week. He had pictures and videos to show us, and discussion can happen if you want to participate. And then again, Sunday, again, saving those up will count you for massive Super Sermon shopping sprees. So um, I think that's it. Let's pray, and then uh, we'll head out. Lord God, thank you for this time to get together with um, friends online. Lord, help us to really practice this Galatians verse, to be crucified with you, so that really it's you living through us. And as we listen to this song, as we apply it to our life, Lord, help us to really, really understand um, what you mean to us and uh, what your sacrifice means to us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Say hi, Tika. She came crawling over during prayer. Are you a holy cat? She's sweet anyway. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, oh wait, theme music to go out. And I gotta find it. Here we go.